right. I'm coming from Turkey, from the uh, east-west city. It's called Mula. Maybe you know Bodrum, Marmaris. Yeah. I'm coming from these cities. <laughs> and why I am here right now, I don't know. Right. Okay. I'm trying to give some information. I'm trying to ask some questions about the Europeanization can be a tool for the border conflict resolution, especially uh, maybe you can ask some questions or the, uh, some thoughts about the border conflict resolutions, especially on the Balkans regions and the Balkans countries, EU accession and especially Turkey's accession and the, what we are trying to understand the meaning of border and border conflicts and can we have any chance to use the Europeanization as a uh, resolve to border conflicts and to build the peace building process. And for the outline, I'm trying to give uh, the definition of the border and the border uh, conflicts. And then the, uh, the uh, core of the paper is the Europeanization. And to, I'll, I'll try to uh, give the definition of the, what is the Europeanization and what is the relation between Europeanization and the border conflicts. How can we say the especially the, uh, giving the some clue uh, to understand the, this um, area. And then I'll try to conclude uh, to my uh, presentation. Right. Uh, there are many defini definitions on the border, frontier, or boundary. Sometimes there are really different meanings, uh, especially between the border and the uh, frontier, especially from the uh, American scholars and the uh, European uh, scholars. Maybe we can say, uh, according to the vocabulary definitions, uh, border, frontier, or boundary mean the line that separates one country, state, province from another, and the district or region that lies along the boundary uh, line of another, or maybe the uh, last definition can be a frontier of a state or a the settled part uh, of a country. The populations, especially who live at the border regions, share the uh, sem, uh, same culture or so similar culture, and uh, they have the common past, and they may have a common political future, especially the border, border people. Although this assumption can be taught as uh, borders are markers of the be peaceful relations. The other uh, side of the coin says that the hostile uh, relations uh, can be occurred between the state and uh, its neighbors. And uh, Europeanization can be understood uh, as a process uh, which is encouraged by the EU, especially, and the key concept of border conflict uh, resolutions. The EU tries to uh, improve understanding of conflict situations and to produce some methods as peace building and uh, conflict preventation, mediation, and a dialogue uh, to resolve the conflict situations. Throughout the modern history, uh, Europeanization has on um, taken, uh, has taken on different meanings. Uh, the term made its first appearance in the 1990s in order to describe a uh, process different from European integration and from harmonization. Uh, meanwhile, I would like to ask a question. Uh, do, is there any, uh, another paper about Europeanization before this session? Just I am the first one? Because I don't want to say the same things again and again. Right, okay, excellent. And uh, Coles, Caporasso, and Rifa defines, because uh, sometimes definitions can be so uh, difficult to understand, as, as actually not to understand, to uh, hear again and again. And Rifa uh, 
these three uh, persons are so important, especially for the Europeanization uh, research, define Europeanization as the emerge and the development at the European level of distinct structure of governors. Johann Olsen differentiates between uh, five possible meanings of Europeanization. And uh, according to him, Europeanization may refer to changes in the external territorial boundaries to the EU. Radiali defines Europeanization as a process of construction, diffusion, and institutionalization of formal and informal rules and procedures, plus uh, policy, styles, ways of doing, and shared beliefs and norms, according to the Radiali. But we, if we try to combine these uh, definition and insert these definitions into the paper, it cannot be wrong if we say uh, Europeanization is also a transforming process of conflicts, insensitiveness, difficulties into a relatively peaceful environment, empathy towards this course and a culture of working together in different communities. Europeanization is defined as a process at the same time which is activated and encouraged by the European institutions, primarily the European Union, which means that Europeanization has an institutional character. If uh, the EU sec security strategy first outlined in 2003, called upon the European uh, Union to engage in a full range of conflict uh, resolution uh, activities spanning from conflict prevention to crisis management and post-violence rehabilitation. N new concepts in European studies and in other disciplines have become prominent with uh, the increasing importance of neo-functionalism, -func uh, theory in the analysis of different perspectives approach in the conflict. Uh, then the concept of Europeanization has become the used more in the social sciences literature as the European integration process has become accelerated with the European Single Act Maastricht Treaty. And then, the, uh, as I said before, Europeanization is especially activated and encouraged by the EU. Bersan, who uh, gives her life to explaining to and giving the new dimensions to the Europeanization, explained Europeanization as a two-way uh, processes. It entails a bottom-up and a top-down uh, dimensions. First of all, Europeanization has instituted on the top-down approach from EU level to the uh, national level. This approach concerns about the impact of European Union integration process and the impact of the developments on the European level upon the member states. But the European integration process is based on the bottom-up approach, which means from member states to the EU. It analyzes the member states' impact on the developments on European level, European integration process and its results. And I think Europeanization includes the top-down and bottom-up approaches together. Europeanization as a tool of border conflict resolution may show itself at two approaches, bottom up and top down. Because conflicts, as you know, do not need any visa to pass the borders, although geographical borders can be tried to eliminate between member states, uh, some borders may be used as raison d'etre uh, in order to promote the European values as well as the national interests. Democracy, human rights, and the rule of law have become essential elements 
in almost all the EU agreements with third countries since the beginning of the 1990s, as you know. They use policy of carrots and sticks, rewards rather than punishment or, or assistance, show itself in Europeanization process. In case of the quasi members or candidate states, it's clear that the transfer of a key is at the core of Europeanization. This can be called as European Union condition, conditionality and is generally described as positive. Another important mechanism is social learning. The social learning does not operate on a sanction reverse mechanism, but rather is facilitated by the EU with instruments such as persuasion, capacity building, and the promotion of transnational cooperation and exchanges of good practices. The other tool of Europeanization is using the eight programs, especially the cross-border cooperation programs. These programs have flourished not only between nation states, but also between local and regional bodies, and not only to across the internal EU boundaries, but also across the, its external borders. Because as you guessed that, the usage of similarities is so acceptable for the mirror of Europeanization, because after this first step to create a working place under the dissimilarities, conditions can be easier. Oops. <clears throat> and I would like to uh, say something about especially the other players' role, because maybe uh, this uh, conference um, framework can be so interested in this uh, role, because Europe's Europe has some headache areas, especially the Balkans and the Caucasus. And uh, these regions attracts, attract the attention of Russia. And uh, especially uh, then uh, after the Russia, US and the Canada are the second and third countries who are interested in these regions. These issues shows the important tendency towards border conflicts because not only the region state polities but also the others role uh, include the US and Canada interest engage them to the conflicts. Within this context, the EU also uses the Europeanization as a tool in order to emphasize the union's diversities, but at the same time it works it it it, it, it prefers to work together with, the, with them, with, uh, with these countries, because of satisfying them and also playing her role in a game. And uh, this difference is, is so important about the Europeanization because if we are talking about the membership Europeanization, enlargement Europeanization, and neighborhood the Europeanization, they are totally different and totally gives the uh, different uh, sensations to the countries. For example, um, although conditions of Europeanization can be producer and consumer at membership Europeanization, it can be strong consumer at accession level, but weak one at the neighborhood Europeanization. A like Europeanization design is top down and bottom up. At membership level, it's primarily top-down process at accession and European, excuse me, neighborhood Europeanization. And for the conclusion, uh, because the, the detailed information is on the uh, is written at the paper. It can be said that Europeanization is an act interactive process in the in EU structures, especially in the EU context, because it's uh, included it's, it includes two-way relationship between 
structure and agency. Uh, that is what is the agency that is transformed of, uh, as a result of participation in EU structures in the EU context. And the EU's potential for border conflicts through its Europeanization mechanisms can produce both intended and unintended results that uh, European integration was designed to bring peace, as you know, to a continent. But maybe we can um, say that it can be not right, except the right to bring the peace to an all continent. As we try to explain, especially we are looking for the Balkans regions, as we try to explain that in the long run, Europeanization or border conflict transformation is most significant with regard to the indirect means of EU involvement with a good quality or carrot, as we say before, uh, the European Union's policy carrot and the uh, sticks, but it's so important what is the quality of the carrot, uh, especially if, if you say, if, if, you, if, if you, as a European Union, if you give the clear membership perspective, Europeanization becomes more useful for border conflict resolution. And this cross-border cooperation uh, as a tool of Europeanization should be bear in mind. Although the European Union CBC policies are more effective within the European Union uh, borders, but they may be expected to produce Europeanization effects mainly uh, at the local and regional levels beyond the outer borders. I can give some exactly good examples from the Turkey, which, uh, have the, which, are, which is using the CBC programs so uh, successfully. And uh, uh, plus I can say that the experiences given evidence that if, it, as I said before, especially the accession of the EU can be an option, the relations goes on well on partnership and cooperation level, and maybe uh, at the end of the all things, Europeanization as a tool for, yes, border conflict resolution, if the European Union, especially the accession, uh, gives the uh, clear membership um, framework to the con candidate countries, especially third countries, which, uh, for example, using the uh, Moldova, uh, Belarus, and Georgia, Armenia, Azerbaijan, uh, they, they are included the special program from the neighborhood policies. Uh, but the last carrot uh, is cannot be a member of the European Union, and therefore uh, these relations, especially using the tool of the Europeanization, especially for the border conflict resolution, is, cannot be so um, useful, especially for these countries. Yes, that's all. Thank you very much for participation.